If you have just taken delivery of a DJI drone, such as the DJI Mini 2, and the drone has been released within the past two years, then you are going to need to install the DJI Fly app. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that for iOS and Android. So let's get into it. The DJI Fly app controls a great number of DJI's drones, whether you have the DJI Mavic Mini, the Mini SE, the Mini 2, the Mavic Air 2, the Air 2S, or the new all singing, all dancing DJI Mavic 3, this is the app that you need to install. Now, the DJI Fly app, of course, provides a great number of functions. It, of course, allows you to be able to see what is on screen, but it also allows you to set all your camera and video settings, for example. It allows you to set all your safety parameters, such as your return to home, and of course, a whole host of other additional features as well. Well, now if you have an iOS device, it is incredibly simple to do. If you have an iPod or iPhone, whichever device you are using, all you do is open up that app store, do a search for the DJI Fly app, and then hit that install button. It is as simple as that. Of course, then after which you can then create your account, set it all up, and you can be on your merry way exploring all the various options and make sure that you are flying safe before you put the drone up in the air to avoid any accidents. However, if you have an Android device, it is a little bit more complicated than that. Now, if you have an Android device, despite the fact that it says on the box that the DJI Fly app can be found in the Google Play Store, that is actually not the case. Now, I'm not going to go into the politics of it, but very simply, it has been removed. Now, if you have a Huawei phone, it is simple because you do have your own app store where you can download the DJI Fly app from there. Now, if you have any other device, such as the Google Pixel or Samsung's or any other Android phone that actually uses the Google Play Store, you're going to have to go about it a slightly different way. And this is because, as I've already mentioned, the DJI Fly app, due to some US restrictions, isn't actually there anymore. So all we need to do is open up a web browser on your phone and then do a quick Google search. If you search for DJI Fly app, the top suggestion should be the right one. What that will then do is should take you to the DJI download page. Now, if you can see there is no button to install for our iOS, because of course we do that using the app store. But for Android, you can see we hit that big button in the middle where it says download. Once you have hit that download button, you will get a little prompt to say that this is the version that you are wanting to install. And the specific version on this one is 1.5.4. Of course, DJI do release a multitude of app versions when they improve something or change something. So of course, this number may well be out of date by the time you watch this video. Once it is downloaded, we are ready to install. Now on some devices, just be aware that because you are installing an app from a third party source, i.e. not the Google Play Store, it may throw up a security prompt and you may have to accept and allow permissions to install this for your device, okay? So I just want you to show you that that may be a step you may need to take, but it is of course absolutely fine because this is DJI. And of course, if you don't accept it, you're not gonna get the app. So we're gonna go ahead and click okay. And then once that has gone through the entire process, of course, I've sped this up significantly. You can then of course, create your account if you're an Android user and then sign into the app. And then after you have done that, you can of course play till your heart's content, just as I said with the iOS users, make sure your, all your parameters are set. Now on this channel, what I do is whenever DJI gives a new app update, I of course test it, review it, test it for safety and compatibility with certain devices. I also review any new features and of course ones that are taken away. So please do consider subscribing to be notified for all those future updates and of course I do have a huge back catalog which you can go back into to test because quite frankly some features are added some are taken away and it might well be you want to go back to an older version now if you do want to go back to an older version of this DJI Fly app this nicely introduces the second way to install because I do cover these DJI Fly app updates I actually host 
all of the previous install files on my own Google Drive. So if you do want to install it from my Google Drive or from this video without having to go to the DJI Fly app and do everything we've just said, all you simply need to do is hit the link in the video description. One at the very top will always be the latest version, okay? Once you hit that button, again, you can install straight from my Google Drive and just make the process a whole lot more simple. Not to mention, of course, as I've just said, if you do want to use this service to go back to an older version where there might be less bugs or there might be a feature that was taken away that you want to still have in your arsenal, you can also use that for that very purpose. Now, if you are a new DJI drone flyer and you want to learn more about these drones, what I'm going to do is leave some links to some videos which should be popping around my head about now. These videos will teach you all about the right settings on the DJI Fly app, teach you how to use the map and compass and how return to home works, and also mention how to use ND filters properly because no doubt you will hear that these are a must have accessory. My video teaches you how to use them properly, not to mention some core cool accessories such as some strobe lights to make this so much more visible at night given it is very small or indeed if you do have the bigger ones just increase that visual line of sight um, and being able to spot it in the sky much more easily and of course some really cool accessories as well such as these cine sticks I will put here which of course really allow you to get some such smooth cinematic footage and are ideal for beginners. So that wraps up the video. Hopefully by watching this, you now know how to install the DJI Fly app. So happy flying, enjoy your new purchase, and thank you very much for watching. See you again soon.